Why do we love roller coasters so much? We humans love the adrenaline and the emptiness in the stomach that it gives us when we are in dangerous situations. Many people go to the extreme to satisfy that desire for adrenaline resulting in dangerous mechanical rides or virtual situations of those rides. It is so common to see news of the disasters that happen in the amusement parks that it no longer surprises us. There are many roller coasters banned due to many accidents they had and no one could ride them ever again. Do you want to know what they are? Fasten your seatbelt as we explore the deadliest roller coasters you won't believe exist. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Perilous Plunge at Knott's Berry Farms Who does not like water parks? Attractions are even more fun when you add water to the equation. Perilous Plunge is a water roller coaster at Knott's Berry Farm in California, the 12th most visited park in North America. When it opened in 2000, the attraction broke the world record for having the highest and steepest drop of any water park. At that time, passengers were only secured by a seat belt and safety bar that supported their legs. In 2001, a girl fell out of the attraction, even though her belt and bar were secured. This made the park decide to install a seat belt that also protected the upper part of people. An excellent decision. A brakeless vehicle. Mock Chuck was a small town located in Cole County in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania, now called Jim Thorpe. The town's railways were built to transport coal over a mountain to reach a coal mine and deposit it there. When the railroad closed its services, the locals decided to make it an adrenaline-packed attraction for tourists. The truly exciting and dangerous thing about this cart was that it was powered by gravity gaining incredible speed as he fell over steep parts. Although it was dangerous, the great resourcefulness of the Mang Chuck locals, who found a new use for an obsolete train, is admirable. Would you like to try it? That one sounds like fun! Mission Space Disney World is probably the most popular amusement park in the world with famous movie-inspired attractions we all know and love. Mission Space is one of the park's most realistic and dangerous attractions because it simulates the negative effects astronauts experience when traveling to outer space. Sounds fascinating and fun. Who wouldn't want to know what it feels like to be in space? If you would like to try this attraction, Think twice before getting on. To be able to ride, you must be in perfect health because the effects can leave you dizzy with pain in the neck and back, with breathing problems and chest pains. Why the name? Russian mountains were the precursors to the roller coasters we know and love today. The earliest known roller coasters were built in Russia in the 17th century. These fun rides consisted of slides made of wood and covered in ice so that people could glide over them on a sled. So what makes them so dangerous? The structure was over four floors high and people were jumping on their sleds that did not have any type of brake with drops at 50 degrees angle. The only way people had to stop the sled was to collide with a stack of hay located at the end of the ride. That sounds dangerous and painful. The Son of the Beast on King's Island Hearing the name of this attraction, you must imagine how terrifying and dangerous it must have been. Let me tell you, the Son of the Beast at King's Island Park in Mason, Ohio, was the tallest and fastest wooden roller coaster in the world and the only one with a twist that will blow your mind. The attraction opened in 2000 as a sequel to the park's mythical and popular wooden roller coaster, The Beast. Apparently, wood is not the best material to build such an attraction since many people were injured on the roller coaster and it had to be closed in 2009. The Big Dipper at the Battersea Park Fun Fair Battersea Park is a famous park located in the city of London. 
the park is about 83 football fields in size together and has historically been used as a recreation space for the British. In the 1950s, an amusement park called Fun Fair was added, which had roller coasters, swings, and other attractions. The most famous roller coaster at the fair was the Big Dipper, built of wood and completely closed in the 1970s. Tragically, five children lost their lives in an accident caused by a malfunction of the attraction which led to the cart where the children were, derail and collide with another. The roller coaster closed forever and with it, the entire fair. Mind Scrambler at Playland Park This scrambler is a popular attraction in most amusement parks in the world. It consists of a metal frame with arms that hold chairs that make them rotate at full speed. Sounds super fun to adrenaline junkies, but the Mind Scrambler at Playland Park in Rye, New York turned out to be much more dangerous than fun. Two people have fallen out of the fully functioning attraction. One, a 7-year-old girl who managed to loosen her seatbelts, and a 21-year-old woman who was allowed to ride the attraction without a seatbelt. After these incidents, the attraction closed completely in 2007. Flight Commander This Ohio Nights Island attraction consisted of a giant spinning swing with plenty of seating for people to have fun flying through the air. This concept does not seem made for lovers of danger. It is calmer and suitable for people who just want to have a good time without fear for their lives. But the flight commander is much more extreme than you think because it gave people the ability to control the speed and intensity of the game from a joystick. It doesn't seem like a good idea to let untrained people control an entire attraction. And this was proven when a 32-year-old woman fell off the swing in 1991, only a year after the attraction opened. The swing closed in 1995 indefinitely. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 If you're not a lover of adrenaline, speed, and danger, but you would like to experience the wonderful world of roller coasters, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is the ideal video game for you. In this game, you will take the role of administrator of your own amusement park, building attractions, food stalls, bathrooms, and other things that will allow your customers to have a lot of fun. You can also build quieter, smaller rides or extreme roller coasters. Always with your audience in mind. Have fun playing! Euthanasia, the roller coaster. Would you believe me if I told you that there is actually a roller coaster designed exclusively to end the lives of its passengers? Don't believe me? Well, there is not such attraction. Although that does not mean that someone was not curious and Machiavellian enough to design the concept. The Euthanasia roller coaster is a hypothetical roller coaster that is designed to cause people to suffer cerebral hypoxia, that is, lack of oxygen in the brain, through many fast and straight turns that leave you on your head. Hopefully this concept never comes true. Blue Flash in John Ivers' Backyard John Ivers is a man addicted to adrenaline. As a young man, John enjoyed his days going to car wrecking races and driving his own car at high speeds. But when he became a father and grandfather, his life became much calmer. To satisfy his desires for speed and adrenaline without putting his life at risk, John decided to build a roller coaster in his backyard, the Blue Flash. This man, who has no engineering knowledge, built a roller coaster out of trial and error so that his grandchildren, and of course him, could have fun. This only proves that you can do anything you set your mind to. The steepest roller coaster in the world. In 2011, the Japanese attraction Takashiba broke the world's record for the world's steepest roller coaster. The structure measures over 12 story high, has a 121 degree drop angle, and travels at incredible speeds in less than 2 minutes, 112 seconds. The roller coaster is located in Fujikyu Highland Amusement Park in Fujiyoshida City. 
Now, if you're an adrenaline lover, you have to try this roller coaster and live to tell the tale. Adrenaline and speed. That's the essence of a roller coaster. I hope you enjoyed exploring about the thrills and dangers of this. Roller coasters are extremely fun. We all like to feel the wind on our faces and the emptiness in our stomachs. But we have to make sure we're safe and that the ride is safe. If you see a suspicious looking roller coaster, do not ride it. On the other hand, if you want to have fun and want to get on an attraction that looks safe and reliable, don't let fear get in your way. You will only live once. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.